Heavenly Father, we magnify your name. <clears throat> we thank you for being faithful to us still. We can thank you enough for your faithfulness and for all, all you have been to us and all you've been doing for us. Thank you for your faithfulness, Father. It is another new week. And thank you for all you did for us last week. Thank you for bringing us into a new week because we know every time you bring us into a new day, it is a new season. Thank you for bringing us into this new season. And I pray that your word be swift today. And speak your word into our week, Father, and our lives. And let this usher us into your God for them plans. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to greet everyone, especially again today. The Lord bless you mightily. And we've been looking at divine preservation in the month of divine preservation. And this is the word for the week. Please stay connected to God. Because every word God speaks, God backs up his word and God is committed to bringing his words to pass in our lives. And today, I'll be looking at the book of Psalms chapter 105 and verse 14. To 15. The Bible said, He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. When the anointing of God is upon your head, it makes you untouchable for the devil. It is impossible for the devil, the witches, the wizard, raging around your territory to be able to touch you. When your head has the anointing of God, the reason why the devil has been able to touch you is because your head lacks oil and lacks the anointing. But the Bible is saying to us that he suffered no man. That is to say, he was no one to be able to touch you because for everyone that is anointed carries heaven upon them and when you carry heaven upon you the devil can't touch you to be anointed heavily by God is to become the apple of God's eyes and it is impossible for anyone to touch God's eyes it's impossible he suffered no man and I pray for you this week every man that attempts to touch you by the oil and anointing of God coming upon your head this week, He will suffer them not to be able to touch you in the name of Jesus. God will reprove kings for your sakes, and you will become untouchable by any agent of darkness in the name of Jesus. Now, look at what the book of Psalm, uh, sorry, First Samuel chapter twenty-six and verse nine. But before I go there, let's start from verse six. Then. Answered David and said to Habimelech, the Hittite, and to Abishai, the son of Zeruah, brother to Joab, saying, Who will go down with me to Saul, to the camp? And Habishai said, I will go down with thee. So David and Habishai came to the people by night, and behold, Saul lay sleeping within the trench, and his spear struck on the ground at his brother. And Habna and the people lay around about him. Then said Abishai to David, God hath delivered thine enemy into thy hand this day. Now, therefore, let me smite him, I pray thee, with the spear, even to the earth at once, and I will not smite him the second time. And David said to Abishai, destroy him not, for who can stretch forth his hand against the Lord's anointed and be guiltless? It is impossible possible for any man to be able to stretch forth. Now, even though the Lord was against Saul, but he was still operating under God's anointing, and David recognized it. It is impossible for anyone to be able to stretch forth his hand against God's anointed. I decree upon your life this week the anointing of God that will come upon you and make you untouchable for your enemies is resting upon you in the name of Jesus. Every power that stands up against you in one place is the way fall in seven places. By the reason of the anointing, I decree divine preservation for you in the name of Jesus. 
wherever they may be gathered, they will be scattered by the reason of the anointing in the name of Jesus. Every evil hand stretched forth at you, every evil hand stretched forth towards your business, every evil hand stretched towards your career, every evil hand stretched towards your businesses, towards your health. I cause them to wither by the reason of the anointing in the name of Jesus. Because the anointing can break the yoke, every seed and yoke upon your life by the anointing this week, I decree them broken in Jesus' name. Those going to look for jobs, I decree by the reason of the anointing, let the favor of God be upon you in Jesus' name. Whatever may be your expectations this week, I decree, may the anointing of God work for you in the name of Jesus. In any witchcraft coven, in any occultic society that they have been raging against your life, by the reason of the anointing, I decree you untouchable in the name of Jesus. I decree your homes untouchable. I decree your, 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 your businesses untouchable. I decree your properties untouchable. I decree your children untouchable. I decree your marriages untouchable. I decree your ideas untouchable in the name of Jesus. By the reason of the anointing, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please understand the fact that God does not anoint a sinner. God anoints his sons. And how can you be a son? Is coming to Jesus and surrendering your life and say, Father, you know what? I want to do away with my past and hold ways, and I want to follow you. I want you to become my Lord and personal Savior. You can say that prayer is a very simple prayer of salvation and repentance. Say, Father, I do away with my old ways. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my life, rule from today in my life in Jesus' name. And I pray that God will give you grace in the name of Jesus. And by the grace of God, please stay in touch with us. Spirit pray tomorrow by the grace of God, 8 p.m. 20 00 GMT plus 2. Keep Ukraine. We will be praying. A praying Christian is a powerful Christian. We're praying in spirit by God's grace tomorrow. And whatever may be your expectations and petitions, bring them to the table at the feet of the Lord Jesus tomorrow as we pray. And God will turn all your petition into testimonies in the name of Jesus. Please understand the fact that the oil of God is upon your head. Therefore, you don't have to be afraid of any roaring lion. This week, lions will crumble at thy feet in Jesus' mighty name. Have a blessed week and anointed one as well. In Jesus' name, amen.